Welcome back, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for taking the time and spending a little time with me. I always appreciate that, man. And I got another video here for you in regards to things that need to be in Mad 19, Mad 19 must haves. You know, we're going into a new year, guys. So, of course, we can continue to play 18 if you want. But we definitely got to start talking about things that we desperately need or desperately want in Mad 19. Y'all know the routine. You know how I do this, man. I'm always going to show you the full perspective of what's happening on the play. We're taking a look at the defense, man, and what we're gonna focus on here in this video is animation. Um, and not just animation quality, but I'm gonna show you how the positioning of the player, you know, the relative player, and you know, where he is relative to the ball or to the other player or being able to make the play, et cetera, et cetera, how it's gonna play out correctly here and the animations, you know, play out the scenario properly in my opinion. Now I want you to pay attention at this, you know, this guy here, you would think he's not the best corner on the coach roster. You would still think that, you know, Vontae Davis would be the better guy. So I want you to pay attention at, you know, the separation difference that you're gonna see. It's man coverage here that they're running. And I want you to see the difference uh, as far as separation that, you know, some of my receivers are getting here on these guys versus what's going to happen with Vontae Davis. And even with that, man, I want to see the reaction times, you know, just a, a little more realistic, you know, because the way these guys overrun the play now, especially in these man cover situations, you know, it's just not appealing to see as far as to the eye. But take a look at Vontae Davis here. He's matched up against Martavis Bryant. And what we're going to see... You know, Vontae is trying to get himself in position. We've still got to get the player movement a little better here. But as you can tell, you know, his separation, the gap right there is not as wide. So, you know, it's, it's still important to make sure we are separating guys based on their abilities and ratings and awareness and, you know, things of that nature. You know, allowing these guys the ability to, you know, either make the play, nearly make the play or, you know, near miss whatever you want to call it, things like that, all right? So anyway, I want you to pay attention to how this is going to play out here. Look at this animation as the ball is thrown, all right? You know, this is a two-man animation, so to speak, in terms of they're both reacting to the same thing, but this is one of the better-looking two-man sequences that, you know, I've seen in Madden 18 where it looks like, you know, Vontae Davis as well as Martavis, uh, Martavis Bryant their relative position and where they are relative on the field, relative to the ball being thrown, and where they are relative to each other is not compromised. As you're going to see again here, you know, they're both going for the ball, so to speak, but they're doing two separate things. You know, Vontae Davis is trying to swat it. Martavis Bryant is trying to catch it, obviously. But as you can see here, this is very clean. This is, you know, believable. If I go back and I were to look at this, I'd be like, oh, man, he almost got there. And this adds the immersion as well. You know, this allows more of a dynamic, you know, outcome, so to speak. You know, you see how Vontae, uh, Vontae Davis, I keep wanting to call him Vontez. But you, keep, you see how Vontae Davis, you know, how his hand is on the back or the shoulder of Martavis Bryant. You know, this just makes it feel very realistic. You know, I, I see this and I'm like, oh man, that's something that you would see happening in the real world. So they got to get more of these animations that are allowing things to be believable. More and more animations that allow what's actually happening or what we expect to happen on the field to play out and allow those animations visually to be believable you understand what i'm saying so that's just an area that i hope they address in mad 19 and there you have it so if you haven't already guys make sure you subscribe to the channel cut on your notifications hit that like button and we'll catch you in the next video all right until next time let me know what you think peace